thank you so much. Is okay. it ready? Huh? Is the camera ready? Yeah. Okay. So yeah. just uh, kind of look at the camera. And, okay. Uh, and just, thank uh, you. Uh, I guess we could start with, uh, are you from Salt Lake? And Yeah, I'm from, well, I'm from uh, Utah. I was born in um, uh, um, Vernal, Utah, in the dinosaur land. That's my dad over there, Jack Hackford. I'm Tisha Hackford. I was homeless since 2011. I just got into housing a, a year ago, but well, I had housing before that, but at the Bigelow Apartments and um, a place after my water, I broke my water line, a pipe there, the water line, um, they got me in a new apartment over there by the temple, but I only stayed there a year. My schizophrenia got so bad after that, I, I had to get back on my meds, my on my meds. Um, I was paying my rent and everything, and I just left, and I left by myself in the apartment, so I for like a backpack of stuff. And uh, I to, I was told my boyfriend I'd pay the rent still, but he ended up in jail. He came and found me outside, and we did, um, we were getting high by the dumpster. Thank God the cops didn't know I was, but um, yeah, I don't know if they knew he was, but he, um, he was when the cop pulled up, he just ran our name because he thought we were um, loitering, and then uh, he had a warrant and he went to jail. So I, mean, I only seen him 15 minutes uh, after he's been out of jail, and I um, ran off because he uh, I needed to go get high and get well. Not to get high, but I only had enough to get well. I was sick, drunk since that day, but I'm on methanol now. And I haven't seen him since. Can I ask you what happened to your leg? Uh, it was an amputation from, um, it was an abscess on my leg from using, um, I was shooting up and I got an abscess, an abscess and I got an amputated because uh, I guess if it gets in your uh, abscess and it was too bad, it gets in your bloodstream and infection. And I thought with that happening, it killed you instantly, but I guess it's I was actually at this McDonald's um, that day it happened, and um, I was over there by uh, the uh, mission, and um, I, I was trying to get my abscess taken care of at the um, Fortune Clinic the day before that, and um, it was weird the way I was getting treated that day. I was just, also I was like in a lot of pain from the abscess, and um, this guy gave me 10 bucks and they dropped me off there. And um, I got him seven or three before, and then I've actually got him more. They sent me to the um, emergency room, and but they said I need to go to the emergency room before it was abscesses. But they actually gave me antibiotics from getting me there. Um, but so I thought I could take care of it because um, it before, like, I had this abscess one time, and it was the first abscess I ever had, and I was walking and limping. And this girl started to make us, What's wrong? I was over there at Free South Tracks at courthouse and I said, oh my, I got this abscess. She goes, let me see it. And I showed her and it was on my ankle. And she goes, oh, see that little head? It comes to my head, what is it? She goes, you just really pumped up the needle and drain the later on I did that and it really so much pressure on my leg. I was like, oh, I felt so much better. And it just pumped it early with this syringe and it drains. But um, some of the abscesses, it was getting so many abscesses that I've had them like head out the hospital to the emergency room. But you could just poke it in it, because one day it was like not coming to a head on one of those abscesses, so I tried to poke it. It wouldn't drain, and it looked like a head, and it looked like it was coming to a head in different areas. I had this one cut out too, because that's where the first abscess that happened on, where it would look like it was different heads. And it wasn't even that big, and I, they put me out in surgery on this, and it just wouldn't pop when I was doing it with the syringe. And um, they put me out in surgery. I left against doctor's orders on that too. Um, it was a huge slip. It was in a gym. I can't remember what hospital it was, but I just got out of church with me and my boyfriend. And I was in the bathroom, and he had left because I, he didn't know it was taking so long in the bathroom trying to deal with this. And um, I fell asleep over there. It was on that um, McDonald's. I'm trying to think of the address. It's like on 45th and like maybe. Yeah, it's on the other side by the freeway, anyways, um, by that McDonald's. Can you talk just a little bit louder? Yeah, and I um, ended up in the hospital for the from this abscess, and then that happened on this abscess. So I was at um, the mission, and they were saying they were going to call the cops because I just, when I left the um, Forrester Clinic, thinking I could pop it on my own, 
um, and do it on my own because I've had them before where I could take like an exacto blade and poke it with the corner of the exacto blade just barely and it would drain it. Because uh, after I had that one happen where it wouldn't poke, it wouldn't drain. Um, so it's going to be pretty hard. Thing. You must get like a disability check or something, but yeah. it's probably not enough to better than some because I've had some people tell me that the church won't help them. So you must be an active member. Uh, that's what my bishop said. He goes, I thought you were a member because, um, but they help at my apartments. The bishop goes on there because I'm getting baptized from the missionaries. I have oh. June 8th is a, a, a baptism day. But I see I had an apartment from Fort Street Clinic the day, time before my mom died and the doctor wasn't there when I got there. So I've been trying to take this care of because I got to get those two things that have seen the, um, Prosthetic, uh, prosthetic, uh, socket. But, um, the, I go, yeah, I told my yeah, I'm talking to the Yeah, I'm talking to the about that. I thought you were a minister already. So, I'm doing, but, um, I missed a few times a week, so I got a call, and you have to meet like, five times before. And I met with So, I could meet with them. So, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm glad they're helping you. Yeah, me too. There's something that I can do. No, thank you so much. I mean, I'll put this on. I I'll put this on YouTube, and thank you. I've made oh a dozen or more, and I'm just getting started on it. But, but I I want to open people's eyes because people don't realize. I mean, they think people are homeless because they want to be homeless, or they're you know, or they're lazy or drug addicted or something like that. You know, and and I, and I just I want people to know the truth because. It aggravates me when the church has so much money. They have hundreds of billions of dollars, and and yet, you know, they're, they. I think they could do more to help people. Yeah. See, I'm not, I'm not necessarily any religion right now. I love um, have Jesus, and I believe in Jesus deeply, and God, and the higher power, and God, this and the Holy Ghost, and my Ten Commandments. My dad has them, obviously taught me morals, I didn't have to be taught to know, okay, guilty sure. conscience, if you're choice, free choice, and free agency, and choosing if, you know, what if you like something better, and, and, and you know, you didn't really like that choice, or whatever, to learn your, you know, my choices and stuff, uh, free agency, but, 
um, I, I do love the Catholic Church, and, and I love the Christian. I love, um, I'm going to probably get baptized more because the bishop's been helping me out over there. I love the Catholic Church. The only thing is beautiful. I'd love to get baptized there. Yeah. But I meet with the missionaries. I don't know if they have missionaries where you meet with certain Catholics. But we live right by the cathedral, and on right off of First and Third. And uh, the Magnolia, my dad lives with me. And, uh, I, I really appreciate your taking the time. I'll tell you what I'm going to do because your dad was going to borrow $20 from you. Uh -huh. So I'm just going to give you another 20 Oh, thank you so much. Maybe then my dad said if you wanted to hear, talk to him too. Yeah, you could do a GoFundMe. If you, have you ever heard of GoFundMe? Oh, yeah. Where you can put people on GoFundMe if you wanted to do that. Uh, <laughs> have you, have my, you my apartments have... Um, sorry to interrupt you, but I just want to tell you real quick. My um, uh, water pipes are contaminated. Um, there's bugs in my water pipe. My water pipe came open and I saw bugs in it. I can't believe the water didn't spray everywhere when it came open. And um, Do you already have a GoFundMe account? No, and I was um, not even drinking the water already. Do you have a way to watch me nightmares. Too? Do you have a way to see this on YouTube? Uh, yeah. Okay, because it'll probably be tomorrow before I give it up. Because i got to go home. I, I live uh, by uh, Duchesne. And I'm just down here for about this appointment. So, well, I'm, good. Maybe uh, I ought to be, sit down and do a... Do but, but that's why we're eating out, too. You know what I mean? Because Duchesne County is really not here. We can't have, we have to get contaminated everything like the dishes. We have to get rid of everything. And we still have a bunch of food we need to get rid of, but we're not eating it. Uh, our food got contaminated up got some food being. Um, we gotta clean out the fridge. We, everything's clean in my apartment though, like everything's clean. There's no sinks on me because I put bleach on it. I take the sink shut in the closet so it can't pop open again. We're not using the sink. I, I, I wash off with good water. I wash my hair with good water yesterday. Um, I just got some uh, sanitizer spray. And then I do that like to spray, to spray the, my dad got paper plates and like to put the cats that way, but their water dish, um, just to spray, it was not a treasure spray, you wipe it down with paper towel like that, you know. What I was going to say is when, if you, uh, search YouTube for homeless in Salt Lake City, then you'll see the other videos that I've got too. And then when you see this one, you know, you can comment on it. And if you get a GoFundMe, you can comment on that and tell people what your GoFundMe is. watch it and then uh, and you can you, you can be anonymous you know I mean as far as your real name you know but you don't have to tell me your real name but if you can if you want to or whatever but what I'm saying is is that you know there's people out there that will help you you know but they just got thank you too they just got to know you know yeah and so we're gonna tell them okay you know and then and then uh, and then you, you follow up and you comment on that and tell them how that they can and if you've got a specific problem you know you can comment later and say, hey, I need some with my water pipes, da 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 you know, and, and, and people read those. So, uh, anyway, I I don't want to take too much of your time, and I, uh, people are quite long. Oh, yeah, <laughs> what's your name again? Thank you so Floyd. much, Floyd. And I, I'm going to give you... I'm Tisha Hackford, this is my dad, Jack Hackford, and Jackie Hackford, my mom just died, Mindy, and she goes by Hackford still. Well, I, my dad and her are divorced. My cards are all... I'm a sister Fawn Hackford. I got two kids. Uh, right, okay. Oh, sorry. Are you okay? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like one chance. They were born in 07 09. Like no, chance what, what I'm going to do is these cards are old, but I think you can still. Floyd, right? Is that what you said your name was? Yeah, you can still read my phone number right, on that Pete one. Floyd. Okay, yeah. thank and so you. So you can oh, contact me anytime. And, okay, uh, put this uh, and I put that Just keep it. Like yeah. So uh, have, I'll have to, I'll have to uh, uh, recharge this battery. And, and, uh, but but if you call me, uh, I come down and lose one of us. And so uh, we can do it. And uh, here, Dad, since you were sitting here with me. Yeah, I, I really like to do work. Is that from him? Oh, what? Is that the one that has sanitizer on it? Or do you want one of these? I don't wait that long. I guess I'll have sanitizer. It's a kid on some sanitizer. This afternoon, if I get, uh, well, I can recharge this battery, 
and uh, maybe call me. Uh, Give him my phone number, did you? Okay, I got a phone number too. Um, my phone's at home. Okay, I left it at home over at Russian this morning. I think I might get uh, woke me up. I think I'll have him. Um, and my alarm didn't go off because like, my phone's acting funny. It does not seem the right time of day. And I can't say when I set the alarm. Um, I, Okay. What's my name, Chris, and then yeah. okay. my phone number. Jackie Hackford. Uh, and then uh, my daughter has a doctor's appointment at the primary children's mm -hmm. at 3 o'clock, and so, uh, uh, but you don't have to wait to get to it there. But, uh, primary children's, yeah, the train does go there, the red line train. Um, I'm not allowed to go over to the U though because of my Medicaid. I was um, after my application and my Medicaid I switched from Molina. I mean, from Molina to Select Health. They, um, I can't go to the U anymore. But I'm trying to go to the hospital. Put your email address on there. Okay, I will. Uh, let me put my, my name in. So, hey, your daughter, has she got an appointment? Is she okay? Yeah, she uh, she had a liver transplant, um, and so she has to take uh, anti-rejection meds. How old is she? 24. Uh, see, my liver, I got a picture of him taking care of it. I'll get taken care of Because Valentin, uh, he told him Friday about the new appointment. He had to get to the appointment. He, uh, over the weekend, uh, he's been back at my house again. I was trying to explain that to the people at Wall Street. I'm like, he's at work. I'm like, yeah, he works at my house, but he he's, uh, works with the case managers. And my case manager was talking to him Friday, too. Because so I have to ask for my dad's sleepover two nights a week. And she's really cool about it. One time she leaves the home to see the weekend.